well, obviously you signed for the club a whole year ago now. It's perhaps not been the 12 months you were hoping for, but how has it been from your perspective? Um, yeah, I think obviously looking back over the past 12 months, um, I would like to have a bigger impact than what I have. Um, but obviously in terms of injuries and things like that, this season hasn't really gone my way. Um, but overall, it's been a very good 12 months. Um, I still feel like I've managed to develop as a player, um, although not getting as many minutes as I was liked. Um, but yeah, overall, I feel like it's, good. it's been a, a very good 12 months. And obviously, before the football came to a halt, you were nursing an injury then. How is that coming along now and, and how is it feeling? Yeah, the injury's um, progressing well. Um, I should be um, fully fit for when the games do return or if they do return. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, so I should, um, I should be back for when they do return and hopefully I'll be able to have an impact for the games that do remain. And obviously we're all missing the football, but for you, has it sort of given you an opportunity to fully focus on that recovery and make sure that you know, you're all ready to go if and when it does resume? Yeah, 100%. Obviously everyone wants to watch football uh, every, every uh, week. Um, but obviously during this whole um, crisis and things like that is kind of gave me a little bit more time to fully focus on getting myself right and, and making sure that it's kind of, this is the last uh, hurdle to get over. So when I do return, it's just kind of a plain sailing um, sort of path for games and minutes and things like that. And what's it like, what's it been like for you, you know, trying to do everything from home, do your rehab from home? Presumably you've been in close contact with all the relevant people from the club to you know, make sure you're doing the right things. But how have you found doing that from a distance as such? Um, yeah, I think obviously it's, it's going to be difficult doing certain stuff. Um, but it's, it's been all right doing my rehab and things like that because you still have the same equipment. You still have the same um, physios and things like that, um, nursing that injury. Um, so overall... It's, it's not too bad. Obviously, you want to be doing different things um, which can kind of help your rehab or speed the process up. But at the same time, you're still doing everything that you can to make sure uh, you are right for when you do return. And kind of away from the football, what have you been doing, you know, over the last six to eight weeks to, to keep busy? Um, <laughs> most of the time is quite a lot on Netflix or series and things like that at the moment there's a fair few good series on um i see the last dance with michael jordan and uh, and things like that but um yeah a bit of reading here and there um but yeah most of the time it's just chilling out reading watching netflix so it, it's been quite chilled but obviously my main focus is getting uh getting fit for when the games do return and you talk about getting fit for if and, and when they do resume. Do you feel that sort of everything that's sort of happened in the last 12 months has, you know, made you stronger mentally and, you know, you can take positives from that as such? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think the past 12 months has probably been um, the best time for me in terms of that personal development and having that um, bit of grit. Um, and being able to kind of um, progress mentally. Um, obviously, there's been a fair few injuries for me this season. Um, so you kind of get that um, grit back and determination to kind of push on through these different hurdles and make sure that um, so when you are playing again, nothing really gets in your way. You just kind of overcome each thing as they come.